Hello, everyone. We all know we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now. But what we may not realize is that the masks we use to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe are not that effective. They don't block a lot of the microbes that they could, and they also build up a ton of bacteria that ends up in your nose and your lungs. That's why at normalbrands.com, we treat each mask with a special solution that is harmless to humans and deadly to bacteria. Plus, they're great at keeping out most microbes, pollen, dust, as well as pollution. Perfect for all year use. So please stop by Normal Brands today to keep yourself, your family, and other loved ones safe. Peace, thanks, be well. Game Kings, the definition of game, documentary, coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I get emails all the time from guys that, you know, they give me scenarios about girls that they're dating, situations that they're in, and they want to know, like, is this girl feeling me, right? They want to know if the girl likes them. They want to know if this is the type of girl they'll probably be able to get a second date with or some shit, or, you know, is it a thing where they could hook up with this girl or should they charge it to the game? You know, so they're sort of wondering, like, what's going on with the chick that they're dealing with? You understand? They're probably kind of confused and all that other stuff, right? Now, this is what you have to understand. You have to understand that a woman's actions, her actions are going to tell you everything you need to know, right? Her actions are going to tell you everything you need to know, meaning it's going to tell you whether or not this girl's feeling you. It's going to tell you how much she's feeling you. You understand? It's going to let you know, you know, how she views you, how she sees you. So let's say, for example, you go on a first date with a girl, right? And now let's say, you know, the date's winding down and she says to you, oh, hey, look, I had a really good time. She gives you a hug real quick and walks away and it's like, I got to go, right? Or let's say that girl, you know, you, you, you the date's winding down and you try to kiss her and she like moves her face away or something like that, right? So basically in both these scenarios, you know, there was no kissing in this situation. There was no, uh, none of that going on, right? So what that means is, is that this woman, she, you know, she's not really trying to get down with you on a, on a sexual tip. That means that her desire to be with you sexually is not really there, right? Or what happens is, is that there's something else that is greater than her desire to be sexual that's going on. So let's say, for example, you know, you try to kiss that girl, she moves her face. That's a blatant sign that she's not trying to get sexual with you. So she is most li likely not, you know, sexually attracted to you in that scenario. Now, let's say in the first scenario where I talked about where she just sort of hugs you and runs off and it's like, oh, I had a really good time, you know, good night or whatever. And she just kind of keeps it moving. Right. That doesn't necessarily mean that she isn't sexually attracted to you, but she's not sexually attracted to you enough to stick around and, you know, try to make some some uh, some of that kissing happen. You understand? Now, that could be because she could be a little intimidated or let's say she's, you know, she's just feeling a certain type of way about whatever. But it still remains that her actions are saying there's something else there that is overriding the desire to actually be sexual with you. Right. So her actions are telling you this. Right. So whether or not she's actually not sexually attracted to you or she's nervous or she, you know, she's, uh, you know, just all over the place with her emotions or whatever. Who the fuck knows? Right. The point is, is that there's something else that's overriding the desire to be sexual with you. See, I always talk about, you know, a woman's desire has to override anything else 
and that will let you know that she's sexually attracted to you because sometimes what happens is there's a fear there that could cause a woman to not want to fuck with you on the sexual tip right because there's times where a woman is just not sexually attracted to you and it just is what it is right and that's why she's not you know dealing with you right but there are other times where there may be a nervousness or some sort of fear that's stopping her from fucking with you but either way the fear or whatever it is is overriding the desire what you always want to happen when you're dealing with a woman is you want the desire to override everything and if the desire overrides everything that's when you have the situation where the woman is going to take action and be sexual with you right so what confuses a lot of guys is because you may be with a woman on a date or chilling with a girl and you know she's you know she's real cordial and shit you're having a good conversation everything seems like it's flowing smoothly but then nothing sexual happens either you you try to make something sexual happen she moves her face when you try to kiss her or you're sort of laying back and falling back to see if she's going to be a little bit more assertive to try to make something happen and she doesn't either way nothing sexual happens so that's telling you that her desire to make that sexual thing happen isn't high enough because if it was the sexual thing would have happened it's that simple so a lot of times guys need to just you got to pay attention to how a woman is responding to you you understand what i'm saying you got to pay attention to that because whether or not you're being assertive or not you want to still look to see if that sexual tension is there if she's actually trying to do something sexual because if you're assertive and she's sort of rejecting you trying to get at her like that that's a clear indication that she's you know whatever something else is overriding that desire or she just has no desire at all but if you're laying back and you're seeing if she's going to make the move and she doesn't there's still something overriding that desire you understand or she just doesn't have that desire at all so all you all you guys got to do really is look at the responses even if you're being extremely direct with a chick let's say you holler at a chick at a, at a bar at a party or some shit and y'all talking for you know maybe like five or ten minutes and you tell that chick hey listen you know i'm really attracted to you i think we should get together and hook up right either tonight or you know later this week or whatever and if her response is anything besides yeah let's hook up or let's make it happen that means she doesn't have that desire for you because if she did it would happen you understand it's that simple because see you have sometimes where a chick may actually be intimidated by you right and that's the thing that causes her to not do the things she you know that she may want to do with you so she may have some desire to fuck with you but the fact that she's intimidated by you that is stronger that's overriding her intimidation is overriding her desire and therefore she doesn't fuck with you or you may have some chicks who they see you and they're like this motherfucker think he all that right and so she feels like you get a lot of chicks she's like he's the type of guy that gets anything he wants from women so she's thinking i'm gonna play a little bit hard to get so that he'll value me value me more than you know any other girl he's been dealing with so what happens is is her getting you to feel like you value her more is overriding her desire to be sexual with you right now see this is what i'm saying you have to look at you know her actions because her actions are going to tell you you know if either if she desires you to be sexual with you now if she doesn't desire you sexually right or if you know and if she if she's not doing anything sexual it's basically showing that either she's not interested in you sexually or there's something overriding that desire to be sexual with you you understand it's either one of those two either she's going to be sexual with you or she's not going to be sexual with you 
And if she's sexual with you, that means that her desire was overriding the other shit. If she is not sexual with you, that means the other shit is overriding the desire. You understand? Is that it's 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 that simple. It's 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 really that black and white. Now, there may be a lot of different reasons as to why she may not be sexual with you, but at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. Because all those reasons fall under the other shit that's causing her not to be sexual with you. Right? That means those other things is are overriding the actual desire. You understand? I, I really want you guys to understand this. See, a lot of times what happens is like if I'm on a date with a chick, right? And we don't kiss on that first time we, we, we hanging out. Like, let's say. I, you know, I meet a chick and I'm feeling her out and I'm like, okay, she kind of cool or whatever, right? And either if I'm the, you know, if I'm being assertive and I pull her into me to try to kiss her and she don't want to kiss, or let's say I even, I don't do that. Let's say I just, I'm just laid back and I'm seeing if she's going to be uh, showing signs that she wants me to kiss her, right? But if she doesn't show me those signs, right? And, and we don't kiss, I usually don't even hit her back up. I like I don't holler at her again. Because if she's shown me no type of sexual desire on that first date, right? That means that her desire to be with me sexually isn't there. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's not really there. Right? Even if even if let's say for example, Let's say, for example, she was intimidated and she was nervous but she, and she really liked me, but she just didn't do uh, that thing because of that. Again, either way, that situation overrode her desire to be sexual, because if her desire to be sexual was strong, she would have been like, fuck that. I don't care if I'm nervous. Fuck that. I don't care if this other shit is going on. I want to kiss this guy. I want to be sexual with this guy. And she would do that. Right. So this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that this is the way to really just gauge, you know, how the woman is feeling in this situation about you. See, do not get it confused to think that she's different, meaning chicks would love to, to pull that. Oh, you know, I'm just I'm just that, you know, I'm just a different type of girl. I don't I don't kiss on a first date. I don't have sex on a first date. I don't do this. I don't do that. I got to get to know you. That is all bullshit, guys. It's all bullshit. Understand that is all bullshit. Either she wants to do it because she's feeling that feeling to do it and she does it or she's not doing it because either she doesn't want to do it or she may want to do it, but there's something else that is causing her to say, you know what? I'm not going to do it. So her desire to do it isn't strong enough than her desire to not do it. Again, another example to not do it. Let's say you're trying to fuck a girl the first time you're hanging out with her and she may think, damn, well, I don't want this guy to think I'm a slut. And I really like this guy. So, and he looks like he could be boyfriend material. So I'm going to, you know, hold off a little bit. So her desire to get you as a boyfriend is stronger than her desire to fuck you right now. You, you understand what I'm saying? See, this is what I, I want you guys to really understand and see this because this is going to make the shit easier for you to, to recognize when you're dealing with these women. Because if you're hitting me up and like, oh, well, you know, does this chick really want to get it in? Right. Her actions will tell you her actions will show you if she really wants to get it in. You understand what I'm saying? If her actions is going toward her getting it in, she wants to get it in, meaning you're hanging out with the girl. She's kissing you. You're touching. You're doing all that extra shit. It's going in that direction. If she's like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure, I don't really kiss on the first date, blah, 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 right? It's in that direction of her not wanting to make it happen. Now, again, the reasons at the end of the day really are irrelevant. It's really irrelevant. 
in a lot of cases it's irrelevant the point is is that she's not doing it you understand and if she's not doing it there is something that's going on that overrides the desire whenever the desire overrides the other shit that's when you will be getting sexual with the girl it's that simple and understand that her actions pay attention to what she's doing that is going to tell you all the shit you need to know Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.